This is our dinner. It's some aioli dip. I don't know. So we both have truffle fries. I got shrimp tacos. She got a grilled chicken Caesar wrap. This is Nishima, by the way. Uh, but yeah, after this, we are going, well, I am going to a painting thing. She's going back to the room. So after eating dinner, I'm going to go to a painting thing, which is down the street. That's all that he saw. It was me. When I get back, I'm probably just gonna chill and chill and go to bed. I've been up since like 7 a.m. You have to wake me up. I'm so serious. I was. I'm with you. So that's it for now. I'll keep you guys updated. Good morning. It is our second. Well, our first full day in Chicago. We are currently waiting for our lift to come get us to go to breakfast. After that, we're going to the Sky Deck Willis Tower in Chicago. After that, we're going to lunch and then another museum after that. And then we'll come back to the Airbnb and relax for a little bit before we head to dinner. But those are the plans for today. I didn't show you guys yesterday the finished painting from the painting place. This is what it looks like. I'm not too happy with it because it doesn't look like the picture that we were supposed to be following, but that's that. Um, this is my outfit for the day. You can't really see it. Jeans, boots over here, but yeah, that's it. A chocolate mocha latte but it doesn't have chocolate <laughs> and a croissant and then i got a cold brew a caramel cold brew but i added cinnamon on top but i can't really taste the cinnamon so it's whatever and then i got a fruit cup because i wasn't in the mood for any bread or anything this morning so it's so cold i'm crying <laughs> <laughs> pictures we took more pictures right here but the actual ledge you have to get in line for and the floor and everything is entirely glass we did that twice we got some really good pictures i'll probably go ahead and insert them right here if you are not following me on instagram follow me on instagram so you can see the magnificent pictures that we got here um we're going to go to lunch and then target and then the next museum which is the field museum but after the field museum, we're gonna find a place to eat for dinner and then that will be it for our night. Instead of going to Shake Shack, we want to do right donuts and coffee, but they also sell like other food there too. So I just got the chicken tenders combo and it came with a drink and sides.
chicken. Um, I think it's South African based. Um, we're going to eat dinner here and then make our way back to our Airbnb for the rest of the night. It has started snowing so we're just trying to eat and get back and be warm. We got our food. Hers looks more interesting than mine to be honest. Mine is basic and then just a single drink. Hey guys, so we made it back home to our Airbnb. I'm going to quickly show you guys everything that I got today. And then I'm probably just going to chill in my bed for the rest of the night. It's only like about to be 8 o'clock. So we don't really have much to do for the rest of the night. But I'm really just going to catch up on videos and just chill and get comfortable in bed. Because it was a long ass day. We were really up really early today. We got up for breakfast around like nine but like i set alarms earlier than nine so i was actually like waking up for my 5 30 7 30 8 30 until we finally both got up at like nine something and we left the house by 9 30 9 40 and we've been out ever since until like 6 40 p.m when we finally reached the house and it took an hour long drive in the snow to get back to the house because of all the traffic and everything so it was just a long day and a lot of walking a lot of standing but i'm gonna show you everything i got because i'm really happy with the little goodies i picked up today so from the willis tower which is this building i got this postcard i always try to get at least one postcard from wherever I go and it tells you sky deck and who it's for and everything like that but I'm never gonna actually use the postcard I just like to collect them for the picture that's on front I also like to collect keychains and hats from every place that I visit so this one I was just in love with I love that this is a darker color jean hat and then it has Chicago in this font I know this font is really trendy everywhere um even on YouTube and, and Instagram and things like that so I really like that it had that font and then this keychain just has some of the major places um in the city which is the chicago bean and on the bean i don't know if you can see it but it has the skyline of chicago and it says chicago and then this is the willis tower and then this is the ferris wheel so it just says that on the keychain um so for all of this i ended up paying 40 dollars, which is a lot but i mean it's worth it to me because i may never come back to the city for a while and i finally have things to remember my first trip this is from the field museum it's a stone animal and you guys know my favorite animal is lion so i got this stone lion for 15 dollars i'll probably insert a picture of what this looks like once i unravel it when i get home but because of the airplane i don't want to unravel it so that it doesn't break on the way back to new jersey and then from target i just picked up a new backpack because the one that i brought on the trip is quite small and this is a lot larger it has more part pockets and it just i know this is going to fit a lot more stuff in it than my backpack over there this is the one that i brought i was actually struggling to fit things in that black backpack but i know this is big and it has a lot more space and it's the same texture same nylon and at first i wanted to get the neon green color but like in person this blue is not as bright as it looks on camera so i'm not too mad at what i got and it's the same exact brand this was 30 bucks from target so i spent a lot of money today but um, most of it was worth it and i'm really happy with my purchases it is day three of Chicago. This is the fit I'm throwing on today. I have this scarf and I'm wearing 
this striped shirt underneath it matches all the colors and all the vibes and i have my trench coat which i specifically bought for chicago and then i have spares on and black jeans it like all the colors are going so well together right now anyways we are about to be on our way to breakfast we have a few things again planned for today we're going to millennium park today we're going to the art institute and we're also trying to go ice skating if it's not too cold and snowy but i will keep you guys updated with everything that we do for breakfast we're going to a place called stands donuts and coffee but i will let you guys know when we get there <music> So it is my last full day in Chicago. I just finished at the Art Institute. I bought a few things at the checkout. I'll show you guys that later tonight. I'm currently walking to the skating rink and towards the Bean at Millennium Park, which is this way. Um, I'm going to meet back up with my friend because we parted ways for a few minutes, I mean a few hours. And now we're gonna meet back up again. Um, but yeah, I'll probably insert the pictures I took for the Art Institute because I wasn't sure if I was allowed to vlog in there or not. So I just decided not to, but instead I took personal pictures for myself. So yeah. But now I'm at the skating rink. I'm gonna find my friend and then I'll talk to you guys soon. So we just made it back to the Airbnb after a long day of, not really a long day, honestly, it was really short. We left the house at like 10 and now it's only about to be three. Um, we went, well, I went to breakfast and you guys saw that the donut shop was super, super cute. Then after that, I went to the Art Institute of Chicago by myself and Oh wait, I've been saying the wrong thing. Art Institute of Chicago Institute. I don't really know. Incivitive. That's what it is. Anyways, um, I went there, um, walked around, um, bought some things at the gift shop, which I'm about to show you guys right now. And then after that, I met back up with my friend and we went to see the Bean finally. Um, the main reason why I wanted to go to Chicago. And then after that, we I went ice skating for like 2.5 seconds just to take a picture. And now we're back in the Airbnb. Um, we're probably going to go out to dinner around 6.37 or earlier if she wants to do that. I don't really care. But for now, I'm going to chill alone in here and relax and just be to myself because it was a long day for me, I guess. Um, but I'm going to show you guys everything I picked up. So for $20, I was able to get these um, five items. Two of them are keychains because you guys know my collection obsession this one oh it's upside down it's the like i said skyline of chicago and it has the um what is this called the location but there's a word for that i'm blinking right now it has the location of where it is and the chicago illinois it's the wind city hardwood cutout of it 
this is a keychain of the lion that is outside of the institute but you guys know my obsession with lions so i had to pick this up this is a cute little eraser but i thought it was just cute because it had an art palette and it says art Institute chicago i'm probably never going to use it but that's what it looks like and then these are two of the actual art pieces i didn't actually see i saw this one but i did not see this one in person um but I always pick up postcards if I can to any place that I've been to. So these were each like a dollar and fifty cent, and it just tells you, it shows you the picture. On the back, it gives you little details about the picture for each of them. So I'm happy with everything that I purchased for today. because my suitcase broke as you saw and I was struggling. I had a panic attack trying to fix it because I was nervous that I was in charge more money if I stayed longer in the Airbnb than I was supposed to. But I made it out and we're here and I'm eating Duncan for breakfast. And yeah, we did it. Thank you. 